I think uh, when you look at the decor that I have, what sets me apart from other stores is that I have a wide palette range and I think it, it really hits a lot of demographics. So all age groups, if they're looking for an apartment in Chicago or if it's for um, an environment to add to a very traditional home, you'd be able to find something in my store that would work within your home. Hi, my name is Ellie McClune and I'm located in St. Charles, Illinois. My store is called Treasure Broker LLC, um, right along the Fox River and I'm at 218 West State Street. My store here in St. Charles has been open for almost two years. Um, I've been incorporated as Treasure Broker LLC for over two years, so you know it's just getting things going. My tagline is salvaging stuff into treasures and you know they say every man's Trash, trash is someone else's treasure. So that's kind of what I look for as far as renewing, refreshing, and revitalizing um, furniture, artwork, um, seating. Um, what I sell at my store is really a wide range of, um, you know, furniture, home decor, art, um, and it, it really depends on what I come across at a flea market, at an estate sale. I have people that pick for me and you know uh, call me and send me pictures of different things. So, but you know I have seating, um, I have tables, accent tables, uh, bedroom furniture. Not bedding. I, I, I stay away from beds. That I don't do. But like dressers and some fun accent pieces. And then you know I'll pick up some small items as too. Just uh, vases, something that has a unique design or um, catches my eye because of the color. Um, so it really varies. It, it, you know, everything that I have in my store, I would have in my own home. How did I get into the business of antiquing? Well, it actually probably goes back to when I was younger. Um, my mom was very involved in an antique study group, and um, I've always had uh, antiques around me growing up. Um, I've got relatives that have similar shops like this, um, so I think it's in my blood. And um, I've always done things like this on the side as far as finding pieces and incorporating them into my home. And uh, at the time when I decided to do this, uh, as far as opening a shop, I ended up having way too many pieces of furniture in my house and my garage was overflowing, so I thought, okay, what am I going to do? I chose to leave the business world um, and I thought I'm going to do what I like, what my passion is and what I enjoy doing. So um, I started with a few pieces that I had already done and I had a storage unit too so I, I started getting pieces from there and just trying to renew them and refresh them and uh, you know create a market that was unique that people could see the value of these pieces of furniture and utilize them in their, in their homes today instead of throwing them away. The difference, I would say, between, between refreshing and restoring is that um, when I refresh something, I'm usually changing the initial, um, des not design, but the color scheme of the, the furniture. Now restoring refurniture, I do do that as well. Um, and that's basically if something is maybe a little bit damaged or it's just been built up a lot with polish, furniture, um, you know, cleaner and things of that nature, you know, you can just um, sand that down a little bit and then you can just restain it again and then that again will give it new life. Well, uh, you know, I'm always, with my marketing background, I'm always trying to stay current and get people through the door. So I'm looking at um, bringing on some consignment items because I have tons of people that want to consign. And then also I'm looking at, you know, getting um, uh, some product in here, paint product um, to have uh, for sale on a retail basis. And then also looking at um, potentially teaching lessons too. I have a lot of people that say, hey, are you going to teach any lessons, do anything like that? So you have to just kind of go and baby steps and don't over, you know, don't bite off too much, uh, kind of do it. Uh, that can control it. Since I'm the only one, I want to be able to 
you know, do it that I feel good about it and it's done the right way and I can control um, and not kind of get, uh, you know, burnt out.